When an inventor trying to patent his creation ran afoul of the public use stumbling block, he invoked the experimental use exception in Locke v. Brunswick Corporation. Stephen Locke worked as a repairman at a boat dealership in Florida. Having noticed that the upper seal assembly in Brunswick Motors often failed due to corrosion, he decided to create an improvement. Using his grandfather's metal lathe, Locke created six prototypes for a seal assembly that would prevent the corrosion problem. He installed one in his own boat. He installed the others in the boats of the marina owner, a marina customer, and some friends. He charged nothing for these prototypes and didn't specifically ask for feedback from any of the users. More than a year later, Locke applied for a patent on his seal assembly. After learning of Locke's invention, Brunswick designed its own improved upper seal assembly. It started selling products incorporating this improved version. Locke sued Brunswick for patent infringement. Brunswick counterclaimed, seeking a declaration that Locke's patent was invalid on the ground that his invention had been in public use for more than a year before he applied for a patent. The jury found that the use of the prototypes was experimental, that Locke's patent was valid, and that Brunswick had infringed it. It awarded Locke $1.5 million in lost profits. Brunswick appealed to the Federal Circuit. It argued that because Locke didn't control the use of his prototypes, keep records of use, or swear users to secrecy, the use of the prototypes before the critical date wasn't experimental, and the patent was invalid as a matter of law.